I think we've now got a pretty good idea of the basics of JSX. Remember, one of the most important things to keep in mind is how we can print out some JavaScript variable inside of our JSX by using those curly braces. Just to make sure that we really understand what's going on, the next video or the after I zoom in on it, has a lot of extra code that we haven't really spoken about a whole bunch, such as the script thing right here. And then if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see some other kind of nasty stuff. All that extra stuff you see in here is basically just to get React working in this little test environment of sorts. So in order to solve this problem, you only have to really change one single line of code. So don't worry about doing any import statements or any require statements or anything like that. Just focus on the problem statement up here and making sure that you solve exactly what it's asking for. Once you've got a solution put together, you can then click on check solution down there and you should be good to go. Now, of course, we'll go over a solution together after you give this thing an attempt. So let's pause right here, give this thing a shot. If you have any trouble with it, don't sweat it. Just move on to the next video and we'll talk about the solution together.